Hello, and thanks for checking out our 49 North Lubricants website. My name's Rob, and I'm going to walk you through a brief demonstration of the My Account area of the site and show you some of the great features there. Uh, before I go any farther, though, I just want to mention our chat feature. Uh, lower right corner of the screen, you'll notice a chat button. If you've got any questions, you need uh, help finding a product, um, you've got issues getting around or navigating the site, uh, feel free to chat with us there anytime, and uh, any of our reps would be glad to help you out there. Uh, so we've added a shopping feature to our site, and you'll get there by clicking on the product section. As a guest, you're free to browse here. You can see products. You can get all the product information you need here. Uh, the only thing is you won't see your, your specific pricing. Uh, you won't see your account information. That's all under the My Account area. In order to do that, you have to have an account. So if you're new to the website, you can create an account here, and I'll go through that in a different video. Uh, so you can log in here. If you were given an invitation by email to this site, uh, you'll need to reset your password before you can get in. So click on the forgot password uh, link there and enter the username that was given to you in that email and then hit reset. You'll be sent an email by the site and uh, just follow the instructions there and that'll get you logged in. But for now, I'm just going to log in using my test account. And here we go. And once you're logged in, you can see that you're logged in because, well, Tony is the name of my test account. It says, welcome Tony up in the top left corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the My Account section today. So by clicking on My Account, you can go to My Information. And here, this is where you see your name, address, email address, shipping information, that kind of stuff. Um, you can also change your password here if you want to change your own password. Back up to my account, we click on web orders and web orders will be any orders that you have placed online. Uh, this could be on your desktop or on mobile, doesn't matter. It's just anything that you've entered online. This is the history of orders that you've entered online. And you can go to any one of them, click on details, and you can see that a certain product was purchased or ordered. If we go back to my account and click on open orders, you'll see the list of orders for your company that are open and have not yet been billed. So it's searchable, filterable, you can select a date range, and if you need to go and look, oh, yeah, that's an open order for that product at that price. If you click on my account again and go to invoiced orders, you'll see this is order history uh, for invoices that have been sent to your company. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, invoice number, uh, purchase order number, it's all filterable. Again, select date range. Um, the neat thing about this section is you can look at an invoice and you can click on details just like in the other ones, or you can even download your old invoices as a PDF. So that's pretty handy as well. Once you click on that, a PDF window will open for that invoice. Go back to my account and click on item purchase history. And you'll see uh, this is the list of all the products that you've bought, product by product. And it's pretty handy because you can see uh, just you can just pull up this list and you can add a product to your cart if you want to order three more of those you know oh yeah i've bought pails of that product so i can order five pails of that add those to the cart 
and you can see that they were added to the cart. And it's really easy then, oh, I want to buy what I bought last time. Here you go. Um, sometimes you may find that there are some products that say no longer available in this window. Uh, if you click on this show only available products uh, checkbox, you'll, you'll be able to uh, get rid of those and clean up your list. But this is a pretty handy uh, uh, tool as well. This purchase history goes back uh, 24 months. Something I didn't mention in, in the last section on invoiced orders as well is that that sales history goes back 24 months as well. So you can pull your, your invoices as far back as two years ago. In the My Account section, there's also an aged account summary, which is pretty handy. So you can check the uh, standing of your credit account. There's a favorite section. This is probably the best one because you can set up your list of regular products that you like to buy. That if you have, say, a, a monthly order that you put in, this can help you streamline that process. So you can add products to your favorites. You can easily just eliminate them uh, by clicking on the red X to get rid of a product from your favorites. Um, to add a product to your favorite, let's go and find, say you want to add a gear lube and you want to buy synthetic industrial gear lube. And you want to buy EP150 synthetic. You want to buy it by the drum or do you want to buy, let's say you want to buy it by the pail. There's your product, there's your price. Let's add it to the favorites here and you can see product added successfully. So when we go back now to my account and click on favorites, you can see we had all of our other favorites, but now the synthetic EP 150 gear loop is there as well. And the cool thing about this is, yeah, say you've got a, a regular order that you want to put in. This is your list of products that you always put in. Say you want to order five pails of this today. You want to buy 10 cases of that. But you don't need any pails of this today, so you can put zero there. You don't need any of that today, but you want to buy 500 liters of bulk DEF. So this all looks correct to you. You can just add those numbers in. You could add them individually, select five and then add cart. Select 10, add to cart, or you can hit add all to cart. And you can see that all of those products were added to the order. So that's a pretty slick feature. The last thing I want to show you on my account is the system notifications. This is just you can select or unselect whether or not you get email notifications from the site. And that's the uh, My Account section. So thanks for checking out this video. And remember, if there's any questions at any time, you can always chat with us or contact us through the site. And thanks for visiting 49 North Lubricants.